Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On today's show, we are rock climbing with Brett Harrington. It's a little bit wet, so we've come to serve us for a bit of multi-pitch action. Colleen, you've just come down off the cliff here. What have you been learning uh, with the guides? Uh, we've been learning multi-pitch climbing. So um, a lot of new nods, how to anchor in. It's very different from the sport climbing I've done so far. Daniel, you're looking in full Arcteric setup here. You're ready for the mountains. Yeah, yeah, this is the only way to do it. <laughs> uh, what have you been learning today? What have you been up to? So we are doing the multi-pitch uh, clinic and we are learning about how to set up an anchor and we are yeah, just making it really safe and efficient and uh, weather is not looking too good, but I think we can manage. So we're here with pro athlete star teacher, Brett Harrington. <laughs> um, Brett, you've managed to find a little bit of time uh, to maybe teach me some road work stuff. Yeah. What's the plan? Um, we can go do some multi-pitching and I can teach you how to do the anchors and the systems. Uh, all right, let's do it, let's, let's go climbing. This is a sport route that has already fixed anchors. So um, you wouldn't find this in the mountains. So this is an equalized anchor off of two pieces. I would build an anchor like this for a, if I was climbing a sport multi-pitch climb. Seems pretty quick and easy to set up. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's probably the most simple, but I can teach you how to do a quad anchor also. Okay, so you get to the anchor and you put both bolts mm -hmm. and then you take your cordelette and you double it and I like to do it close to the knot so I have a double fisherman's inside my cordelette here and you clip it to the first and then tie a simple overhand you can keep it loose before you finish. And then you tie another overhand knot just below it. And again, you can keep it kind of loose because you're going to readjust the knots in a second here. And then you clip the other end to the other bolt. Mm -hmm. Lock up. And now you can readjust your knots so that they're a bit more equalized. And this is a, a self-equalizing anchor. What do you mean by self-equalizing? Um, so I'll show you here. Once you have the knots in the right direction, you can take the final locker. This is good for top roping, also for multi-pitching. You take two of the strands here and you can clip in. Mm -hmm. And then actually, you can go in direct to the other two. And now, you can belay someone up on this strand while well, you're locked into this strand, and then it's completely redundant, and it it's equalizing as you move around. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a handy anchor to have. <laughs> and then if you're in a sport cliff, there's oftentimes two bolts that are about the same, so you don't even have to undo the knots. Um, yeah. That's brilliant. It's a good anchor. But then... No problem. Okay. 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 Okay.
Huh? Yeah. Very cool. So I feel like I should explain the crowing noise. Uh, we're at this crag just outside of Chamonix and there appears to be some kind of chicken farm. So sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to use a pull cord for rappelling. And there's various reasons why you'd wanna use a pull cord. Uh, for one, if you have a core shot in one of your ropes and you can only rappel off of one line. Um, if you want to rappel using a grigri, then you can rappel using one line. Um, and also, if, if your two strands are much different size, then oftentimes one rope will feed through faster, so you might want to use a pull cord in that case as well. Feed the rope that you're going to rappel off of through the anchor, and now you're going to tie your knot. Make sure that they're not twisted. So here we've set up a rappel um, as a pull cord and I've done a double knot here. It's just an overhand knot that I doubled up so that the knot won't pass through. If, for example, this was the point that you needed to rappel off of, you don't want the knot to have to pass through the system. And then I'm gonna be using this orange rope as a pull cord. So what I've done with the orange rope is I've tied a, a figure eight with a small bite here, this is just a backup system. In case the knot does pass through, it will get, um, this figure eight is gonna be attached to the green line here with the locker. And then in that case, it will be backed up in an entire loop and there will be no way that you can fall. So we have the pull cord on the right side and the wrap line on the left. And then you grab your free grease. Or eight, you can wrap off an APC if you wish. But it makes sense to use a grigri in this case. And then you can repel off a single line. It's important though, while you're repelling, that you keep the pull line, the orange line, in your hand so that you can, once you reach the next anchor, you can use that to pull your rope down. So, you're up, down, and say I hit the ground, and I'm off, I'll give myself a bit slap, and then you can pull your rope through. Is there any disadvantages to the system? Is there times when you wouldn't use it? Um, if the wraps aren't, if it's not necessary to have two ropes for the wrap, I would just take a single rope, and then I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry the extra weight. But on almost, I would say like 90% of the routes I climb, I, I use the tagline. Because you use the system on some of the bigger routes you've done? Yeah, I have. Um, I, I like it for, yeah, using a grigri. You don't have to wrap with the ATCs. And um, also if you get a core, if you get a core shot in one of your ropes, you can use the core shot rope as the pull cord versus wrapping off it, so you can. Yeah, it's just, a, it's a backup system if you need it in the Alpine. Yeah. It's brilliant, I, I've used it once before uh, and had totally forgotten how to how to rig it, so that, that's super useful for me. There you go, um, yeah. Thank you, that's cool. Simple. Nice. Right, uh, we need to go down and have some coffee. So there you have it. I was lucky enough to have a bit of a masterclass with Brett Harrington. And that tagline system is super, super useful if you don't want to haul two ropes up. So it was good to see that again. We'll be showing these things a little bit more in depth in some gear shows in the future, so stay tuned for them. For the meantime, it's pouring with rain, so I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.